guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to Photography Talk episode 67. Now, when you think about how things have changed most or what things have changed most in the last five years in the photography space, post-processing has got to be among some of the top three. As evidence of that, Adobe just released a killer Photoshop update that uses AI to enhance low resolution photos. Skyloom also just released an update for Luminar AI that makes it even more powerful a program for post-processing images. Things are getting crazy with AI and we're gonna dive into all that in a second. But right now though, I wanna take a moment and say thank you for supporting this channel. Your support has been absolutely amazing. Now I'd love to get your continued support as well. And if you like this video and find it informative, smash that like button down below. And guys, it might not seem like a big deal to like a video, but actually, it is very important in a very big way in that YouTube algorithm, that little cosmos that we sit in. So that of course is really appreciated. And we wanna make continue making these videos for you that you enjoy, that you find very informative and are helpful to your photography journey. So if this video fits that bill, well heck, you know what to do. Now let's discuss this week's biggest news. Now, if you have Photoshop CC, you need to open up Adobe Camera Raw right now and try out the new super resolution feature. Now, what this does is it's using machine learning to improve the quality of photos by enhancing its resolution. And I know what you're thinking, making photos larger often gets you substandard results, but super resolution actually is different. While using AI, super resolution can enlarge photos while maintaining tack sharp details in the image. This includes nice clean edges that give the final result the appearance of being sharp, if not sharper than the original file. For starters, this means that you can enhance old photos that are only 10 or 12 or 14 megapixels and having much higher resolution for making larger prints. Heck, this also means that if you have a camera with low resolution sensor, you can enlarge those image files to make larger prints as well. And I I know this sounds crazy, but the results you get are actually legitimately good. Check out the description below if you want to see a tutorial on how to use this awesome tool. And let's be real here. There's no mistake that AI is going to play a very important role in photography in the future, but with features like this, the future as cliche as it sounds is already here, my friends. Heck, while we're on the topic of AI and post-processing, we should talk about the recent update that Skyloom released for Luminar AI. Now, the headline update is that you can now add sky reflections in water, and this is a big deal because without it, you have to use a mask or other time-consuming methods to add the sky's reflection. But in Luminar AI, you don't need mask. Heck, you don't even have to have or click on any buttons. If your image has water in it, Luminar is going to automatically add the sky reflection to the water after it detects this. You can adjust how intense the reflection is, but that is the only adjustment that you really need to make. Additionally, Luminar now has better scene relighting that reduces color cast in the foreground, so you get much more seamless sky orientation with tools that allow you to flip and rotate the sky to make it fit perfectly in the scene. Now, the sky selection has been made easier and there's a larger pool of skies to choose from as well. Now, if you wanna get an update, which is free, I'm gonna put a link in the description below as well. Ask any Canon shooter and they're probably gonna tell you that the 200 millimeter F2L is one of the best lenses available. Now when Canon announced the EOS R line of cameras and the RF lenses, a lot of folks were upset because the 200 millimeter F2L wasn't part of the RF lens roadmap. But rumors are swirling that this will change in the not too distant future. Why do I say that? Well, Canon recently filed a patent for an RF version of this lens. And as always guys, let me repeat, let me remind you here, a patent is not a guarantee that something will be made. But in this case, I think Canon will make this lens sooner than later. The F version is a favorite with sports photographers. It's also a favorite with portrait photographers that enjoy the superb quality and slim depth of field that makes the subject really pop when using this lens. The question is, what will Canon do to make the R version of this lens 
better than the EF version. That remains to be seen, but given of just how good the EF version is, the RF version should be absolutely incredible. We'll keep you guys updated as we hear more rumors about this lens. With the top stories from last week out of the way, let's get to the real exciting stuff, the winners of our last giveaway. Lauren Schofield, you are the winner of the Pneumatic Travel Pack. Diana McKay, you are the winner of the ViewSonic 16-inch VG1655 portable monitor. And Frank Lizzie, you are the winner of the $100 Adorama gift card. A big congratulations goes to all three of these winners and thank them all and you for being part or supporting this channel so much and staying engaged with our content. You guys absolutely rock. Now, if you didn't win, don't worry. Our next giveaway and next opportunity starts right now. Here are the prizes for this month's giveaway. A Remarkable 2 tablet, a set of H&Y filters with a case, and a $100 Adorama gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying, come on by, swing by, let us know what you're doing. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, my friends, that is it for today. Now, it's that time of the video where, of course, I'm going to ask you if you were mildly entertained. If you found some value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed, hey, you know what to do while you're at it. Smash, kick that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. All right, my friends, I'm going to be jumping out of here so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot. <laughs>